What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today, we're going to be addressing the elephant in the room. My RTX 3080s and 3080 Ti get way too hot inside this Octominer 8X Ultra case. Unfortunately, everybody has the same issue, so I'm going to try to address it today. If you guys are into that, let's do it. Right, so let's dive right into it now we all know that these cards right here have had heat issues pretty much everybody that owns one has a heat issue with it so we need to either repad repaste or change something else so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna remove these fan shrouds I want to put this thing back together and test it like that but I want to also adjust these over to the left and take the 3070 and put the 3070 over here because the memory on the back side of this 3080 Ti is what really gets super hot. So putting this over here puts it in more of a direct path of the fan. And as you can see, being way over in the corner, it's not so much in the center. So I mean, it would be in a better position right here. All right, so looking at this 3080 Ti, if you look, this is where the screws are, the bottom side of the actual uh, unit. These screws right here, I know it's kind of hard to see, but they're little Allen head screws. So I'm gonna grab my iFixit kit. If you guys are interested in this, I do have an Amazon affiliate link store, but the perfect thing about this kit is it has literally all the bits you guys need to service pretty much any GPU or any computer part that you can think of. And then also there is three screws behind each fan at the top. So you're gonna have to undo those as well. Those are Phillips heads. So let me swap the tip and get that removed. All right, and then that just comes off like that. So there is a little clip here, a little RGB plug that goes in that little slot right there. You have to put a flat head and more or less pull the wire up to release it. So unfortunately we won't have any more RGB, but we're gonna save wattage by not having that inside the Octominer. And this is what the GPU is gonna look like with the fans attached. All right, so I put the screws back in where they belong, in the bottom and the top. And while I was at it, I actually unplugged all the fans. So I'm in the mood to make gamers cry today. I'm gonna literally disassemble all of these fans. I'm gonna take them off so it's a bare heat sink. And I was looking at the back of this right here. This plate, right, there is no thermal pads on it and they actually only do that for the 3090s. On the back of the PCB on the 3090s, they'll have pads like here, here, you know, but this is just literally pointless. There's nothing in between. My thoughts behind this is it's probably just trapping heat. I mean, what do you guys think? I'm gonna take this off, cause why not? I'm just gonna make it a bare PCB on the back side, and again, no fans on the front. All right, fans are successfully removed and off to the side. Now this back plate, like look at this. What does it do besides cover and look cool? It literally just traps heat in. I mean, that's what I would assume anyways. So I'm just taking it right off. It makes no sense to me. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. I had people in the comments of yesterday's video saying they wonder how it's going to work when the fins are the opposite way instead of along with the fans to the Octominer. So you can see it goes up and down and they're not horizontal like the 1660s were from yesterday's video. All right, so just check how much room is now there in front of this heat sink. I can't imagine that this wouldn't help being so crowded in here and allow the Octominer to push the proper airflow through. So we're gonna see. It's just crazy how much this actually blocks the amount of air that can go between the cards. All right, let's, uh, let's plug this thing in. Uh, and before we do that, actually, I wanna mention that this card literally would touch 110 on the memory, and I think I saw like 77 on the core to 80. It was like insane for a couple days. Right now, it's not as hot out, it's nighttime, so it's actually a little cooler, and I have a window open, so that could be affecting it. But I did snapshot this rig right before I shut it down so you guys could see the current temperatures, the current air in the situation. All right, so check it out. We have right here, 94 mega hash at 98 degrees on the memory, 68 on the core for that 3080 Ti, which is naked in the software. That was a screenshot. It was bouncing between 98 
and right here what it was currently just at 102 again that's a 3080 ti all right so moral of the story here is this 3080 ti works perfectly fine with the heatsink being the opposite direction on this actual gpu inside the octominer i literally think that this shroud and the back plate don't help these cards at all i mean i kind of just proved that in this test here so i'm gonna strip these two cards and you know what i'm probably just gonna strip the 3070 for the hell of it all right so i got the 3080 ti here the 3080 lhr and then this is my full hash rate 3080 and i just wanted to let you guys know i previously changed the thermal pads and paste on this gpu the pads on the back plate didn't help at all so just before you guys say why didn't i just put the pads on the back plate instead of removing it on these cards that's why so just wanted to give you guys that let me remove this and we'll get this in there as well the amount of fan shrouds i'm going to have left over is going to be insane after i'm done with the rest of the octo miners <laughs> we're going to have to make some wall art with those but i finished up all of these so these are the feather wind three cards with no fans no back plate I also went ahead and ripped out the fans to the nitros right here. So I want to see how those perform. Taking off this actual uh, front shroud, I would have had to disassemble the entire PCB from the heatsink. And I didn't want to do that right now because I need more thermal paste. It's supposed to be coming today. So that's the reason I didn't uh, rip those shrouds off, but they will be removed real soon. So let's test the temperatures on this. I'm going to start it up and let it run for a good while just to make sure they're steady. All right, so I'm gonna put the clocks right here on the screen so you guys can see. It really is almost exactly the same. So what I'm doing here is saving fan power from, you know, obviously having all those disassembled, but I do still need to figure out something for the back side. So I think I might end up taking these heat sinks and adhering them to the back. All right, so thanks to GPURisers.com, we have some thermal pads to test here. Now what I did was I cut a square exactly like that to go on the bottom of the heat sink and I straight up just squished it on and it's holding pretty tight. So I wanna see if it'll actually hold sideways in there. I mean, these are pretty sticky on one side. So I peeled off the blue, I stuck that to this side like so. Try to do this one handed. Then what I did was I pushed it down so it would kind of suction cup to it. Then what I'll do is peel the other side like so. I lined it up right next to the square where the GPU die is. Try to make it in line with the other one. Then you just squish it with both hands, one hand on this side, one hand on the heat sink. And I mean, they hold really well. So I'm gonna stick this back in here and I wanna check to see how the temps are. Let's see how much room we have. There's plenty of room between that and the other GPU. So my only fear is this thing falling and causing an issue maybe down there on that PCIe connection that would be my only fear so just to be safe I actually put some electrical tape over these little prongs here in case for some reason this heat sink decides to fall off so now let's get this thing in here and test it up I would absolutely say that this is a win I just took these two out to do the same thing to them check it out 96 degrees on the memory 96 mega hash on that 3080 Ti that's amazing so if you look up here this one is at 100 degrees and that's the LHR 3080. So yeah, I would absolutely say that this is a win. All right, let's do a quick recap. So we have the RTX 3080 LHR, which is doing 80 mega hash in the software, 56 degrees on the core, 90 on the memory. Then we have the RTX 3080 full hash rate, which is 101 in the software, 62 degrees on the core and 90 on the memory. Then we have the RTX 3080 Ti LHR, which is 94 mega hash in the software. We have 68 on the core and 100 on the memory. Let's not forget the Radeon RX 5700 XT Sapphire Nitros. We have removed the fans on those and all these temperatures look great. Even one of the 3070s have been stripped down completely. So what'd you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. I know that a lot of you yesterday had a bunch of questions about the vertical heatsink versus the horizontal, like the 1660s, and if it would affect it inside the Octominer completely stripped. So as you can see, it really didn't affect it. It honestly helped the cards losing the fans. I'm gonna be saving wattage and I'm gonna be prolonging the life of my cards because I'm able to take the shrouds off and save the fans so they're not gonna get just completely ruined. So that's a huge plus for me. I'm super pumped about it. Also, these little heat sinks, 
man they shocked the hell out of me to be honest i've had these for about a year and i've never used them so i'll add those to the amazon affiliate store if you guys are interested i'll leave it in the pinned comment and down in the description below so feel free to check that out if you guys appreciated this content please go down here hit this like button don't forget to subscribe and if you guys haven't seen this video or this video please go check them out and i'll see you guys soon peace